When I met him, he was actually working in the front of a print shop doing rock and roll posters. Michael had a car that he was able to turn to his first year's tuition at CCA. There was an opportunity to go to Israel on archaeological digs. There wasn't anything really to do after the day's work was done, so the gang of kids consumed mass quantities of books. I introduced him to all the people that I had met in design. He ended up really finding an affinity for the design world. He had so many other offers to do book covers, restaurant design for people that he and Michael Tucker formed Cronin Tucker Associates. We took offices in the same Victorian here in Berkeley where I had my research company. Eventually, moved to San Francisco and opened his first office. There's a really great piece that says on the front of it in very formal scripted type, Michael Patrick Cronin has moved to San Francisco. And when you open it up, it says, there goes the neighborhood. Some of his first clients were the San Francisco Symphony and Levi's. Most of the clients that started with us in the beginning were impressed with that ability to take words on paper and turn them into a bigger idea. But they also liked Michael's personality. He could light the room up with his humor. Michael was always sort of the life of the party. When he would show up for meetings with people, he would be so excited about the opportunities that he would help them be able to see how to expand it and turn it into an entire rollout program. His strategy side was always informed by sort of the artfulness of it. It was always very human. In his career, he did all of the stuff. He did signage and he did annual reports, but I think the identity was the stuff he felt more comfortable with. It was really useful to be able to name the companies as well as to do their graphic identities. There's a lot of history and tradition to it. He never saw strategy as being something different than design. They were always the same thing. If you look at the TiVo logo, he created something that when you saw it animated, it made you smile. To me, when I know it comes from Michael, I know how heartfelt it was. The name Kindle was an interesting development because we had to find something in the broad spectrum of naming potential that would inspire a love of reading. This profession sometimes takes itself too serious. He found sort of the human side to what design is and can do for people. Michael's artwork always informed his design. I do know that it gave him a creative edge that he also was a fine artist. In the last years of his life, we really made sure that painting was an important aspect. I've been using this phrase that those who don't write their own histories are condemned to be deleted. There's a certain responsibility to create those legacies. He embodied a lot of what the West Coast was about. Entrepreneurial understanding. Michael was always very much on the forefront of that. One of the wonderful things about Michael being able to get the medal is that there are a group of people who are creating legacy work, and I hope that we all make an effort to make that work available for people who are starting out today.